Hello, and welcome to How to Fail NaNoWriMo. You probably clicked on this because you're wondering, how can one fail at NaNoWriMo? Well, one, it's 50,000 words. That is a lot of words. Two, you could be studying for other stuff. Like, I'm going to be studying for a midterm that's coming up soon. Hooray. Three, you could just be napping all day. Because, you know, high school and college kids, they love their naps. And... They're just awesome, right? I mean, right? Or you just don't write enough because it, it, it ties in with number one because it is a lot of words. And you have to write almost like 2,000 words each day. Okay, it's 1,667, but still, that's a lot of words. Five, you get writer's block. I mean, that happened to me. Writer's block is just not fun at all. And six, you're just not trying. You're just like, I'm going to give up, like... Why do I gotta do this? This doesn't count for a grade. Why Why would I do this? I mean, really? Really? Why? I listed all the ways how you can fail because at some point in time, that is what I did. Because this is my third year participating in NaNoWriMo and I have failed every year. Every year I failed. I've heard of people who this is like their fifth or sixth year and they've won every year. No, I have not won at all. And it's just Horrible. It's such a horrible feeling to be like you lost, especially last year because most of my teachers didn't like the idea of having a computer in the classroom. So I hand wrote NaNoWriMo and I got to about 20,000 words, which in my opinion is pretty freaking awesome, especially since what happened the year before, which I'm going to be explaining that a little bit later. I will. So what my fail stories are, after a while I just gave up. I was just like, this is just too much work. There's just so much going on. You know, screw it. I'm going to focus on school. My first year, I had a problem where I had a beginning, but I didn't have a middle or an end. So I had writer's block and I just decided to give up. And I was just like, why? Why am I putting myself through all of this? And then the following year, I decided to do it again. But this time I had a beginning and then I was at an end. But I didn't have a middle, so I started writing the beginning. Then when I had a, like a writer's block, I just went straight to where, towards the end point, and I wrote the end. But then I had trouble connecting the two halves in, with a middle, so I gave up on that. But this year, this year's going to be different. This year is going to be really different. And now a couple tips on how to succeed. Before NaNoWriMo happens, come out with an outline, come up with plotting, come up with at least some sort of structure of how your story's gonna go. Come up with a basic beginning, a basic middle, and a basic end. So that when you are writing, that's when you can elaborate more on what you wanted to do. And that's when you can add dialogue, that's when you can add description, that's what's gonna give you all those 50,000 words. Another thing that you can do is time management because with me, on November 10th, I have a midterm. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be time managing when I study and when I do NaNoWriMo because also in the morning, I take the train in the morning. So while I'm waiting for the train, I can be writing. When I'm on the train, I can write. And then when I get to school early, I can write. And then when I'm home, depending on how many words I have during that time, I can then study for a couple hours and then write for a couple hours. And I can probably write until about midnight or one o'clock in the morning. And that's when all the you know time that I would be sleeping so mine is sleep more writing yay another thing to do is just write because even if it doesn't make sense this is just your first draft it doesn't have to be perfect and no novel no writer's first novel is perfect no first draft even of a regular like paper is perfect that's why there's always redrafts and rewrites and editing your first this first novel is not going to be your best but it is imperative that you at least write you at least do something towards the end towards your goal and then if you choose so during your rewrites you can fix all that stuff so hopefully this year I will do a lot better although now with some series of events that have happened in my life I'm starting to think about doing a different story so hopefully if I decide to do the different story I can come up with the outline and everything by the time NaNoWriMo happens which is gonna be really really soon so I will see you guys all later have fun NaNoWriMoing if you are and that's it bye